He killed his own brother. <laughs> Mondo, the ultimate fight ganger lead, made all the hoodlums and riffraffs across the country tremble. But the only reason he had the chance to join a gang in the first place was because of a certain someone. Mondo's older brother's name was Daichi Iwata. Mondo had nothing to respect for him. It was because Daichi and Mondo ever got a motorcycle. Mondo's brother was his only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. He wanted to measure up to his big brother, so he Im Im imitated him in everything he did. Mondo was the epitome of a starry-eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, the charismatic brother, older brother, had put together a local motorcycle gang. And before anyone knew it, it had grown into the biggest biker gang in the country. Daya, the older brother, number one in the gang, and number two, younger brother Mondo. In the beginning, everything was peachy and gravy. But when Mondo started to think about how he could have to take over the gang from his brother someday, his brother's greatness and reputation began to gnaw in Mondo's very soul. The kid's gonna take over. F the kid's gonna take for Mon for Daya, huh? Daya created this gang with his bare hands. Mondo's just along for the ride. Can someone like that really be our leader? All that's gonna do is make the gang look bad. Almost every day, Mondo heard the gossip and whispers of the other gang members. Which is why. I, I just. I. I gotta get stronger. Stronger than Daya. Once. Just one time. No matter what, I gotta win. I don't care what it takes. I gotta come out on top. And on that night. And on that night. Of his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo challenged him to a street race. But during the race, tragedy struck. The kid's brother pushed ahead with reckless abandon, eager for victory and dashed into upcoming traffic. But suddenly... Laying in the kid's brother's arms, the older brother delivered his final words. Guess who is back? Back again, again. Sans is back, back. Tell a friend's friend. Sans is back, Sans is back. Sans is back, Sans is back, Sans is back. Da 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 I fucked up. Sorry. Of course, he knew it was his brother's fault, but Daya would never blame him for what happened. Hey, kid. The rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep the gang together. Cause it's the team you and me put together. It's a, pr a promise between men. He decided to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang, in order to keep his bu- the kill Togami thing. What? Shh. No one knows about that. In order to keep his- the gang together and keep his promise to his brother, he could never admit to anyone that his own weakness had caused the accident, and as a result, the team was made even stronger than the banner of the kid who bested his big brother. Taya was gonna lose his kid brother, so he got stupid and got himself killed. That's because the explanation for what happened, Mondo's lie became the truth. He wanted to leave the team so bad he was willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. I... I just... I'm strong. Strong, 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 strong! And... And yeah. As soon as our killing game began, he realized, no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling. Sad face. Yeah. 
He was just another weakling that would die in an instant. <laughs> and then the lovely, the hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassment secrets. At that point, it was clear I would have no problem shedding light on that secret. Mondo killed his own older brother. No matter what, I couldn't tell the other gang members find out. If what happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother had worked towards create would have been destroyed. His death, all of the guilt I've been carrying around, it would have been for nothing. So, that's why. Are you still mad at Chihiro? I, that's why. I, I... You're the one who was mad at Shigeru. I had no quarrels. M Mondo! After I saw what Malakuma had on me, my head filled with all kinds of fuzzy uneasiness, and I started swirling around. I never felt anything like this before. I, I, I didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure what to think or say. But after a while, the fuzziness, uneasiness, turned itself into a rock-hard lump of anxiety way down in my stomach. And it was right around then that Chihiro asked me to start working out with him. And right there, he, I, he told me his secret. Taka is now depressed. Yeah, I know. Don't talk to Taka. Jesus, seriously? Oh, serious, Jesus. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry I lied to you. But, but why? Why now? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Because, I mean, you've kept that secret all this time, right? If anyone found out, you, you would. It, you're right, but... I wrap myself in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy the version of me forever. His words were like a knife in my... His words were like a knife in my gut. I felt he was exposing the lie. I've been living myself. I have to change. I don't want to be a weakling anymore. You're so strong. I can't hurt. It couldn't hurt, right? Whatever secret Monokuma might tell us. Uh, so what? You're saying I should just say it? You're saying if I really am... I should just be able to tell everyone my secret. Thank you for the host. Huh? I was jealous. I was jealous of Shihiro's strength. He had the strength to face his own weakness, to try to overcome it. It was the kind of strength I've never had. So, I was jealous of him. And that jealousy broke me. Are you making fun of me? I'm strong. What are you fucking me with right now? No. I'm, I'm not making fun of you. You really are strong, Mondo. Shihiro is so strong and weak at the same time, and Mondo is so weak and strong at the same time. Yeah. I felt like I could hear something starting to creak. Something inside my head. What, what did he want me to do? What was I supposed to do? What am I supposed to just sit back, let that secret get revealed and ruin everything? What's wrong? Why did you have to tell me that? Are you trying to rub my failure in my face? I just wanted to. No, I just admire you. I admire your strength. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I am strong. Strong. I'm strong. Strong, 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 strong. Stronger than you, you and stronger than Daya. I don't remember anything after that. When I woke up again, it was lying in the feet, covered in blood. I had a dumbo in my hands, and I was staring at him down on the ground. Hey! hey. Uh, I killed him. I killed your hero, even after all this time. I'm still just as weak as I've always been. And thanks to that, I did something I can never take back. Mondo. It was normally so aggressive, so angry. 
It hid that weak side away from everyone. That was his secret. A weakness like that lived in his heart, like his, and turned him cold blooded. Yeah, right? God damn it! Look at him! You see? You're all just like him! For a secret from the past, for a memory, for that he killed another living human in cold blood. He couldn't cut free of his regrets from the outside world. He didn't know what true strength is. Do you see hope anywhere in here? Cause I sure don't. You bastard! Just shut up, you son of a bitch! Go ahead, say that again, I dare you! Okay, I'll say it as many times as I want. Is that what you want to say? But, unfortunately, I can't do that right now because it's time for punishing. It's fast approaching. Ah, oh, my butt. P punishing? You mean execution? Now, it's what I promised you, right? Taco. Sad yeah, face. poor Taco. Sad face. I promise you, right? The black and that deserves a piece will be punished. Ridiculous. Hold on. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. Awana Manawata, the ultimate biker gang leader. No, no, wait, wait. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Ah! I said wait. <sighs> I'm sorry, man. I couldn't keep the promise we made from one man to another. Oof. Boom! Mondo has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. I should probably end the streamer right about now. That was Taka's first and only real friendship. Yeah. That's sad. And also, do you see Monokuma's hair? Rum, rum, rum. <laughs> it's time. I hate this execution from the bottom of my herd. Why? Because it makes no sense. Not the, uh, this part. The part that happens next. Mondo Butter. That's a cute little teddy. <laughs> Laugh at death, and your soul will forever be at peace. It makes no sense and is sad. Yeah. It's, it can't be. My brother. Another murder and another execution. I want to feel again. Everyone's life is taken so lightly here. I feel like I might be going mad. Maybe I just let it happen. As Taka's sad screams invade our skulls, we each forced our realization once again. But he of course had to... Oh, what a disappointment. And this is the end of the game. But Byakuya? What is this? You're completely insane! You know that! A game? One of your friends is dead! Do you realize that? Hmm. Alright. 
Of course I do. Because the game of life or death. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have a response except that. I don't understand why. Why did you go out of your way to disguise Mondo's crime? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because I made things more interesting. His voice was calm, emotionless, like the voice of death. It chilled me to the bone. Last night, when the murder took place, I was at the library as usual. So, you ignored the nighttime rule too? That rule never mattered to me. I don't recall agreeing to it. There is nothing to be done. Well, I don't particularly care. Please continue. The night grew late, and I decided to return to my room, which is when I stumbled upon him. I spotted Mondo coming out the girl's locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. What? You mean you actually witnessed the murder? He was such a fool. He didn't even have the slightest idea what I've, that I've seen him. So you're saying you knew who the cult was from the very beginning? Indeed. But if I had been the end of it, how boring would that have been? I mean, what a waste of time to have the answer revealed right from the beginning. Which is why I decided to lend a little helping hand. I thought it'd be liven things up a bit. Y you did all that to liven things up? So, after hearing about Genocide Jack from Toko, you decided to use that to create a fake murder scene. But damn, man, if we hadn't figured that out, who'd really done it, you would have been dead too, right? Well, obviously, I would have revealed the truth before reaching that point. Of course. Byak Byakuya turned and looked me in the eye. I could feel his, his sharp eye piercing into me. Thanks to a certain remarkable someone, it never did. And I was able to perform an interesting experiment. Once I do decide to become blackened, I now know who I have to watch out for. What? So, that was your reason. Are you satisfied? Indeed. Yes. We're done listening to your story. Moving on. There's something I'd like to ask, Monokuma. What's this? Oh, I'm up next. You like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? My question is, why? <laughs> Do you like them? But you know, the punishment, this despair, it's not just for you. All this punishment is all this despair is my gift to mankind itself. You're over exaggerating. I'm not over exaggerating. These punishments are meant to transform all hope to despair. What do you mean? Mean? Mean! Mean? Mean, 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 mean! Good grief! I don't understand why you have to pick apart every little stupid thing! Hmm. Whatever. It doesn't matter. In the end, I'm gonna stand alone as the victor, and then everything will be revealed to me. Ah, a noble son of a noble family! Truly you understand me! <laughs> I think this is the start of a terrifying friendship. Is it isn't the quote? I think this is the start of a beautiful friendship. Where's that from? That's enough. And shut up. I would never stoop so low as a lovely shiny childish criminal like you. Let me just say this. After I've achieved complete victory, you're up next. I'm gonna find you and kill you, understand? In the name of my family. In the name of Tokami family, for which victory is for God conclusion. You're getting all riled up. Oh, so cool! Well, it's it's like you're the main character of a video game or something. No trash mob for you. That's hilarious. How ironic. I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you. Temper, temper! Sounds like someone needs a nap.
Monokuma's laughter peeled across the courtroom, and the curtain closed the case in Chihiro and Mondo. But I knew it wasn't the end. The killing hit game would still continue, because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. For those of us who are still alive, our worst fear and despair kept us multiplying. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in hell, and more like a future with us. All of our courage, our effort, our friendship, it felt like it amounted to nothing at all. It was worst kind of despair.